This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to use methods, constants in math class, and how to write math expressions in Java. The following methods and constants and ideas will be demonstrated. First, how to use constant pi and e, and how to use methods floor, sine, power, square root, and random. Then we apply those knowledge to do the following thing. Uh, we write the quadratic formula that is the solutions for the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero in Java. Uh, then we write the area of the disk, the formula for the area of the disk with radius r in Java, that is pi r squared. Then we generate a random integer between given numbers a and b. So uh, to save the time, I first, uh, I already write this class called public class math demo with the public static void main function. The main function I already write and outline what we want to implement. Let us do it one by one. First, we want to print out how much is the constant pi and the e in math class. Notice math class is a built-in Java class it's belong to Java data num package. It's a core package of Java. So we do not need to import Java data num data math. We can use it directly. Also, pi and e are public static file constant in math class. So you can directly use it as math.py and math.e. Other math methods are all public static. So we can use these methods directly, for example, by using math.floor or math.random. We do not need to create an object to invoke those methods. Actually, we cannot create an object to invoke those methods because those methods are static methods. Okay, let's try the first one. I will do system.out.println math.py equal plus math.py. Now, look at this line of code. math.py equal inside double quotation marks. So this will be treated as a string. We'll print out as it is. Now, this math.py is not, uh, the lot, it's not in the double quotation marks. So this will treat as uh, you try to access the public static file constant pi in math class. Similarly, if you want to do the things for e, we will see us math.out.println math.e equal plus math.e. Okay? So, if you compile, you will see the low error message. Same thing, we use, uh, now let's try to understand floor function and the sine function. The floor of x is the larger integer than is less than x. The sine of x is the smallest integer than is greater than x. So we can uh, test these two functions by printing out the floor. So the floor of, for example, negative 4.5 is the plus math Mass dot floor negative 4.5. This is supposed to give you negative 5.0. Then you will say system dot out dot print ln the sine of negative 4.5 is plus mass dot sine negative 4.5. This is supposed to give you negative 4. Okay. Now, if you want to test your function now, you can do it. So we can compile the error message. I right click on this yellow box, then run the main function. It will say he print out a math.py equals 3.1415926. Math.e is equal 2.7182818. The floor of negative 4.5 is negative 5.0. The sine of negative 4.5 is negative 4 because negative 4 is the uh, smallest integer that is greater than negative 4.5. You can always clear this 
uh, terminal window for Lexter one. Okay, so then the power function, uh, if you call as power x y, will returns the value of x to the y power. For example, system dot out dot print ln the two to the third power. Well, well, not a, don't need a z. Two to the third power, below which is eight, is now you can use math formula math dot power two point zero three point zero. This will return you eight point zero. Now, if you want to do the square root, it was a system dot out dot print ln. Now, the square root. of 16 is you can do this add math dot square root of 16 okay now if you want to generate a random number you can just call random system dot out dot print ln pick a random number between interval 0 and 1 1.0 1.0 .0. now this include a 0 but not a, uh, not include a 1.0 so we can say mass dot random okay so if you run this well out system we spell system run so we fix it, so we compile our little error message, and if I run this program, okay, right click, main function, uh, uh, yeah, then it will print out 2 to the third power is 8.0, square root of 16 is 4.0, this is the random integer, uh, I mean random number, you pick it between 0 and 1. Not include that. Okay. Now we clear this terminal window. Now those are straightforward. Next three examples we did a uh, think a little bit. For example, print out the results uh, of uh, equation two x square minus three x plus one. We know this quadratic formula. The solution x one equal negative b plus square root of uh, b square minus 4ac. So we can say system dot out dot print ln. We say x1 equal. Now, you need to translate this mass formula into Java code. Mass formula is negative b, negative b, b is negative 3, plus square root mass dot square root b square which is mass dot power, well, uh, then b, which is negative 3, square, which is 2, b square minus 4 a c. Okay, now this uh, divide by 2a, sorry, I forgot to divide by 2a, so I need to divide by. 2a, 2 multiply a. Uh, pay attention here. First, negative b, straightforward. Square root of a square minus 4ac. Now, square root, you must use mass dot square root. Uh, then b square. b square you can directly write as b multiply b, but I just want to practice mass dot power. b square minus 4ac. You cannot skip this multiplication, which the notation in Java, which is star. You can uh, so two multiply two. You two a. You must write that two multiply a. Here your a is two. Okay, so you write this again. You can write that another formula. System dot out dot print ln x two equal. Then you will say negative b square, uh, negative b, sorry, minus 
square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, since your a is 2. So we can compile. Uh, so you don't see the math. So we change the math. Okay. Uh, how to find the area of this disk? You just print out the area is plus mass uh, dot pi multiply r square pi r square r is square is math dot power r is 3.5 square is 2 right here okay so you print out the area how much is the area then you last one we generate a random number between 11 and 35 now the random method in math class only can generate a random number between 0 and 1 so if I multiply down the random number by 10, for example, and force the result, I only take an integer part, then we will generate a random integer uh, between 0 and uh, 9 inclusive. Okay, that, that's the idea. So what I'm going to do here, if I want to generate a random number between 11 and 35, I will do this, system.out.println, pick a random number between 11 and 35. Now this random number, how to pick up it? We will do this. Well, first we will force this number become integer. But this number actually is uh, not an integer. Math.random. So this will give me a random number between 0 and 1 include 0 but not include 1. If I multiply this number by 35 minus 11, which is multiplied by 24, then the, this number will generate a, a random number between 0 and 23 inclusive, right? 0 and 23 inclusive because you multiply 24. Now, if uh, plus 11, it seems like uh, any gave me from uh, 0 to 34. So I did a change. Here I did a plus 1. So this gave you, you use the large number minus a smaller number, then plus 1. In our case, it's 35 minus 11 plus 1, which gives you 25. 25 multiplied random number between 0 and 1, then include 0, not include 1. That will give you a random number between 0 and 25, which include 0, not include 25. Now, if you force this number to be an integer, this number must be a random number between 0 one, two, three, up to 24. Then this number, if you add 11, will become a random number between 11 and 35 inclusive, okay? So, that will solve our problem. Let me go over this one more time. Uh, you want to generate a random number between 11 and 35 inclusive. I will first generate a random number between 0 and 1. Notice, not include 1, but include 0. Then I use that random number multiply 35 minus 11 plus 1, which is 25. So you will get a random number between 0 and 25, which include 0, but not include 25. Then you plus that number by 11 will give you a random number between 11 and 36, which include 11 but not include 36. Then you force that number, you only take its integer part. In that case, will give you a random number between 11, 12, up to 35 inclusive. Okay, now let's run 
uh, compile the code. Then we run the program. It will say pick up a random number, it will pick up 19. Now, uh, you can see this, uh, the equation to solution is 1 and 0 0.5. You can solve every, every statement you can check manually by your hand. Calculation or use calculator to help you, then you will see this code. Uh, everything is correct. So this is the example on how to use the methods, constants in math class and uh, how to uh, write a mathematical expression in Java code, okay, and how to generate a random number between two integers. If you have any questions, please send me an email. See you next time. Goodbye.